friends. My name is Tommy. I got my birdies here. Uh, this is Bella and that's Chico. So today we will be making the Five Nights at Freddy's Paper Pals. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Alright, so to make the paper buddy, you're just going to need to paint on uh, two eyes and a big smile. Now you'll need to cut out three circles. Just a reminder, scissors are very sharp and pointy, so you may want to get an adult to help you with this. Each circle should be smaller than the other. Alright, so with those three cutouts, we are going to paint them a nice bright red color. Oh yeah, let's not forget to dot the eyes. I'm using 3D paint for this, but you can use regular paint if you want, or you can use cardboard cutouts. Whatever you prefer. But honestly, I think 3D paint is a lot of fun. Alright, so now, let's paint that styrofoam ball red, and we're going to use that as a nose. Alright, so now open up your book of colors, or I like to call, this is actually construction paper. So we're going to be needing a red sheet of construction paper and a blue one. So you'll need to tear those two sheets out and set the book away and we'll use it again later. Okay, for, for the arms, we will cut out two strips of red. The arms should be shorter than the legs, okay? Okay, so now we're going to fold the arms into a zigzag. So what you do is you need to fold over one side, flip it over, and fold it again. Flip it over, fold it over, and until you completely run out of paper. And voila! You'll need to do that for both arms and the legs. Okay, and for the gluing, we will not be using hot glue, but we'll be using school glue. And kids, I know it's so tempting, but please don't eat this stuff, okay? Look, I already got my hands all covered in paint. Awesome! Okay, to attach the arms, you are going to need to make a hole on each side of the plate. Two on the top and two on the bottom for the legs. Just like that. You're going to need an adult to help you with this because you are going to be using some very pointy scissors. Or you can use a hole punch or something else instead. Now I am taking a brass fastener, and you can see, and you're going to slide it through the hole, turn it over, and you're going to open the fastener, just like that. And the arms move. So yes, that is how we are going to be attaching each arm and leg on these paper pals. Here, I'll show you one more time. So, poke a hole. Take a brass fastener. Put it through the arm or leg. Like that. Then you're going to put the pin through the hole you made on the plate. Turn it over. And open the fastener. And just like that, congratulations, you are turning into a master crafter, my friend. Cut out two strips of construction paper and fold them into zigzags. Alright, remember how to attach them? Okay, so first you're going to poke a hole. Remember when, you, when using scissors, be very careful, get an adult to help you because they are very sharp and pointy. Okay, now you'll need a brass fastener. Put the fastener through the construction paper. Put the pin through the hole and open it up. Just like that. That's how you attach the legs. All 
All right, glue the nose on. And then, once the glue is dry, it is time to attach the head to the body. So use a generous amount of glue and set the plate on top of it. And set it aside to dry. And congratulations, you have just finished one out of three paper pals. Okay, so let's make Paper Freddy next. So, in order to do that, use some brown paint to paint on where you want to attach the eyes. And set it aside to dry. Alright, so now you will need to cut out two large circles and two smaller circles. Take the larger circles and cut out the middle. You should have two large rings when you're done. You will need two of those cardboard rings, so go ahead and make yourself another one. This is a little tricky, so you might want to get an adult to help you with that. Alright, and you're going to paint those cutouts brown. Alright, to make the muzzle, draw a figure 8 on a sheet of cardboard. Alright, so once you've drawn your number 8, cut it out. And that will also be painted brown, so go ahead and paint the muzzle. Set that aside to dry and we will need to cut out two more small circles. However, these will be painted white. Okay, to make Freddy's nose, you will need to cut out a cardboard oval. You will need to paint this black and set this aside. This will be glued on top of the muzzle. Okay, to make the ears, you will need to cut two small squares and you'll need to cut the corners off so they're nice and rounded. They should look like the shape of a bean when you're done. Paint the ears brown. Alright, so now take another sheet of cardboard and draw the shape of a hat. Once you have drawn the hat, cut it out and paint it brown. Phew! That's a lot of cutting, folks. But you know what? We're just about done. So, to make the bow ties, you will need to draw two triangles, cut it out, draw a shape of an oval, and cut it out and paint it brown. Alright, so let's attach the eyes. So, start by gluing the rings onto where you want the eyes to go. And now glue the muzzle just below the eyes. And glue the nose right on top of the muzzle. Just like that. Okay my friends, now you're going to want to glue the hat right on top of Freddy's head. And now glue the ears on just right beside the hat. Now before we attach the eyes, I want to give it a good spray of glow paint. My favorite color. I want these puppets to have glowing eyes. Alright, so all we need to do is paint on Freddy's smile. Okay, to make the bow tie, what you need to do is to point the two triangles together and glue 
the oval on top of the bow tie, just like that. So just take the oval and glue it right in between the two points. And you have a bow tie. And now, glue everything onto his body. Alright, so grab your book of colors or your book of construction paper and rip out the brown color. Alright, let's put our book of colors away. Okay, so to make the arms and the legs, we're going to do it the exactly the same way we did as Paper Buddy. We're going to cut four strips, fold them into zigzags, and we're going to attach them with brass fasteners. Alright? Alright, so let's have some fun. Alright, now you're going to attach the arms and the legs the same way you attached them onto your paper buddy. Just remember to get an adult to help you with the scissors. Okay, let's make Paper Bonnie. So you will need to draw two triangles and another oval to make the bow tie. Cut it out. Alright, and then cut out one more small circle. Cut out two large circles and you will also need to cut out a half moon. Alright, once everything's all cut out, let's put some paint on these things. You're going to want to paint one of those circles white and another one black.
Alright, so once you have everything painted, let's start gluing everything on. Alright, so if you want Bonnie to look really spooky, you're going to want to take the purple paint and make it run right down from the eyes, like he's crying. Now for the arms and the legs, you're going to want to cut some strips of purple construction paper. So open up your book of colors and pull out the purple sheet and put it aside. Cut some strips, fold them into zigzags and attach them with some brass fasteners. To make the ears, cut four squares and round them, like I am right now. Now attach the ears using brass fasteners, just like that. So you'll want to have a brass fastener through both of the ear cutouts. Alright, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that project and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend.